We're going to go over TRCH a little bit, some of the support and resistance numbers and daily and weekly chart. Here is the three month daily. You can see we have a low of 112 and a high of 187 back here in February and this low was hit in March, March 24th. And back it up a little bit to the six month chart and I'll put in some uh, shorter term support and resistance numbers uh, where I think they would be and why they might be there. Um, we'll go to the one year daily so obviously the peak would be a potential resistance area. We'll get those in there or so. And then I want to go to the hourly, 30 day hourly and pick out some shorter term support and resistance numbers. Now I'd like to go usually towards the top uh, cluster uh, so I won't pick out this 168, although that would be an area that might be a key number, but 162, I believe, is a little bit more important. And I want to see when it gets there, or just about there. And uh, potential support. So there's a double top here. Again, this is the hourly chart, so each candle is one hour. So we're one, two, three, an area here four, five. So I like that as a uh, possible area of support if it does come back down that low, 148-ish. Yeah, I guess. And then um, go even closer in, five day, 15 minute chart. So shorter term would be the peak of today. It looks like interesting. Hang on a second. I'm going to go to the daily again real quick. 156. Okay, so that was a bad close. Not a bad close, but a, uh, a price point where there may have been a uh, trade right at the close and it didn't register on the daily or right after the close. Let's see. Now, after hours. Let's check that real quick. All right. So, no. But anyhow, so we'll leave it there. Go to the uh, five day 15 charts. And so this is that 162 area. And we'll go into, I don't have it in there, the five minute chart. So that's not registering properly. But that would be really the key. So it's basically right in between these two points I just put in. Um, so looking at it as, as, as a short term trade, I wouldn't buy it there. I'd either buy it at possible support if it hit there and then it looks like it really did stop <clears throat> or once it broke about uh, above 162 but in here is an area where a lot of people would call mid-range short term so now three year weekly take a look at this high of 508 three years ago low of 22 cents and we'll zoom in to about March let's see January 2016. So that really is a two year high, this 187. I think a three year high. Hang on a minute. Let's uh, check that out. Um, this is three years back here. So I'll put the prices in at 242. And I believe uh, people that trade futures are even more precise about these numbers. I would usually check it here. The high of that day would be 244 and uh, future traders will put those exact numbers in. I like to put it in a little bit before that or, or below a particular point above which uh, shows up uh, on my alerts uh, before it actually gets to that area so I can watch it happen. Zooming in here, here's the again it's a weekly chart and March 2016 to April, so just about 14 months I just zoomed into. And uh, why isn't that? Oh, I didn't put that in there, did I? These, no, it should be one of these. Yep, 187. So for some reason that alert price is bunched up with the other one above it. So that is really uh, the main points for above and then below 
if it does fall back down you got a consolidation here and a low in a range right around there possible support I doubt it'll come back down that low 111 112 let's just put that in and then below that would be in here so you can see just a little uh, example of higher lows on a longer term time frame so again weekly chart this is June 2016 55 cents and here is October 2016 66 and then a consolidation here for a few weeks months actually at 106 and a new low at 112 six months later and uh, that's just a, a, a good example of a long-term uh, chart rising higher lows on the long term and we can look at that on the shorter term let's take a look 30 day hourly once again is that the hourly yeah how odd look at that so that low is actually fairly recent March 24th at 112 higher low here and here came back down broke these I'd like to see a support in here but it did break through so it was probably a weak market day that was when there was I think three down days after three up days and I'll show you that on the daily that was kind of annoying and then let's take a look at that before I don't so three up days three down days and then you had a gap up and then consolidation today so I really like it for actually uh, the next day 419 on Wednesday maybe it would happen Thursday or Friday but I do think it, it has a shot to, to break out if not you know some more sideways action or we'll see this is turning the, the red line in here is the 20 moving average that is the median of the Bollinger Bands on the outer edges alright and that's uh, basically it right there just want to see this one break 187 and it'll most likely stop here at 240s you had that double top here and if it does who knows how far back down it'll get I would like to see it come back and hold the twos so after reaching 240s and if it stops hold the twos and I just still don't know if I'll take the trade there but if it breaks through that with big news and by the way I did not even go over that I want to review that real quick um, OTC markets I look at filings here and I will put a link into that and a link to the Torchlight website current projects these two links here click on those it'll tell you about them uh, some details about that you can read it and then the Oro Grande Basin uh, project so there's quite a bit that's going on and I think people are expecting very positive results and, and actual uh, oil spitting out of the ground. So that's why I've been holding for as long as I have. It's been about 3-4 uh, months and it's again small position not much. I've added twice and it'll work out if it gets over that 250. It'll be worthwhile otherwise it's just holding money in a stock that's doing nothing and right now it's going to get past that point I think very soon and here is uh, Yahoo Finance put that link in there the lion the message search I didn't it's an all-in-one uh, message search let's refresh this and see who's posting about torch nobody in the last 84 minutes so you can look through those there's stock puts on there and these four other areas that I look at. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys.